Hi, my name is Sophie. Addressing the world's challenges depends on making high-quality education in STEAM fields accessible to all girls. That's why I've spent the past 14 years making art, selling it to raise money, researching, implementing, learning, tinkering, and designing potential solutions that may, even on the smallest scale, give other girls access to the same educational opportunities that I've had. Three years ago, I decided to try to design and build an off-grid, solar-powered STEAM computer lab for an amazing high school in Malawi with minimal access to electricity. I brainstormed ideas, designed 3D models, worked out the solar electrical system, sourced needed materials and supplies, and upcycled a shipping container in my backyard with a few skilled volunteers. We started the build, including wiring and testing the solar panels at home in Vancouver, and then shipped everything to Malawi. I learned how to coordinate my awesome team, to communicate effectively, and even to raise awareness when the opportunity arose. There were definitely some setbacks along the way. But even when I had to decide to change course, I never thought we wouldn't make it. We just kept finding ways to forge ahead, enjoying the process despite challenges, while always keeping the vision front and center. When the lights went on and the classes began, it was the most exhilarating experience of my life. I called the STEAM computer lab the Bloombox, aspiring to make it a place for ideas and dreams to flourish. In its first year, the Bloombox prototype transformed the educational experience of hundreds of students. The Malawi Ministry of Education saw potential in that seed and approved a plan to scale it to 70 other schools across the country. Based on everything we learned from the Bloombox prototype, we wanted next generation Bloomboxes to be even more affordable, transportable, interoperable with local schools, secure, and maybe even cooler. To reduce costs and planetary impact, and to engage the phenomenal talents of our growing team, we shifted the entire production process to Southern Africa, including custom upcycling an 8x10 foot container, building, testing and fitting the retractable roof system, preparing the site, transporting and handling border clearances. We had some wild weeks of unexpected setbacks, logistical headaches, and ultimate joy. The Bloombox 2.0 is now standing at the Otakaraka Foundation in Mulanje at the confluence of three schools that until then had no electricity and is helping educators to provide STEAM education to several thousand infinitely talented students. We learned from our first installation that kids love the computers and that test scores on their final exams actually went up. Those students inspired me in my next step. I got into my dream school for engineering, architecture and design. It's been thrilling to see design applications for sustainable global development everywhere I look, from setting up my dorm in architecture and business competitions with my solar car racing team, from internships with some inspiring architects, and from a fellowship focused on social entrepreneurism. In the middle of that amazing first year at Stanford, I learned about another phenomenal opportunity, a chance to work with the Malawi Ministry of Homeland Security and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees to install a bloom box in the Zaleka refugee camp in central Malawi, a home to over 50,000 displaced people, with thousands of new people applying to enter daily. We saw that for kids born in those camps without access to regular schools, remote access to multimedia educational resources could be life-changing. There were so many moving parts and uncertainties, confirming partners, getting approvals, refining the roof design, and filing patents for it, enhancing remote usage and solar power monitoring, hustling to quickly raise enough funding, and finding a suitable site. And of course, the usual build and logistics issues that we were getting better and better at handling. A few weeks before installation, Malawi was hit by one of the most powerful storms in history. Cyclone Freddy was a disaster that brought flash floods, devastated thousands of families, and that shut down the nation's power grid. For a time, our first bloom box in Blantyre was the only source of electricity for miles around, and people came from far and wide to use it. We didn't expect our team to be able to rally for the bloom box Zaleka installation, but it did. Everyone came to help, and at the moment we thought the opportunity was lost, the installation of bloom box 3.0 became the most efficient yet. Even the shipping crate got turned into tables by the imagination and inventiveness of the crew for students using the computers. Our sense of purpose was never stronger. Three bloom boxes in three years. We've learned a lot, and together we are just getting started. 
We saw lots of ups and downs and unexpected setbacks, but our soil, water, and sunlight have always been the belief, energy, and love of extraordinary people, and design thinking approaches to take apparently complex problems in stride. I've seen that there are small ways to address big challenges and seen that there can be ways to bloom and that the results can be breathtaking. With three successful prototypes behind us, an efficient local production line, an extraordinary global team, and new innovations already being imagined, the seeds are planted. We have at least 67 bloom boxes still to bloom, and we are so ready to grow.